you switching everything for you guys to get something? I mean, hindsight's twenty twenty. You know, if honestly, if you were to say that they were going to go one on one, and you know, the Browns going to go one on one, basically the whole third quarter, and Kyrie was going to go one on one the whole fourth quarter. You know, even though those guys are talented, we felt like, um, you know, that that would be to our advantage. Both of those guys got hot, you know. Um, so I, I wouldn't say switching was a disadvantage to us. We just, uh, you know, Kyrie had guards on him a lot in the fourth, and he was still making tough shots, um, you know. So who, who knows? The scheme is the scheme. You know, if we go out and execute it the right way, uh, you know, it usually works for us. Did you believe, though, when you guys were able to make that run in the third, it looks like they went – LeBron just did mostly ISOs, and where you exactly. get low, and that's when you guys were able to get back because the ball for them wasn't moving. The ball wasn't moving, and uh, you know, as, as great a player as LeBron is, if, you know, he's not gonna make every shot. So when he misses, you know, usually when a guy, people are going ISOs, people are not in position to get back on defense, long rebounds, we're able to get on a run. Uh, so like I said, we, we wanted them to, you know, LeBron, when LeBron takes a lot of shots and doesn't get his teammates involved as much, that's when they're not at their best. When he's able to pick apart the defense and then also be aggressive score, that's when they're at their best. Um, it just so happened, you know, JR was hitting some tough threes and then obviously Kyrie uh, took over in the fourth.